Hey guys, Prithvi Raj here. Hope you guys are doing great. Acer's Swift lineup of laptops are popularly known thin and light laptops in the market. And it ranges from an entry level Swift laptop all the way up to their highest end laptop. Now, in the last video, we spoke about the 11th generation processor alongside with the new Intel discrete GPU under the hood, the Iris Xe Max, which was found under the Acer Swift 3X. So if you wanna learn more about that, you can head over to the link down in the description below. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about the Swift 5 because the Swift 5 has something under the hood that makes the laptop a lot more interesting and the laptop verified which is the Intel Evo, which is what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. And you're watching The Adventures of Esper. Let's begin. Okay, so before we head into the Asus Swift 5, which I have it right here, it's a beautiful laptop and it also has an interesting antimicrobial coating and an antimicrobial Corning Gorilla glass because in the pandemic, we are pretty much, it's a good thing to have, honestly. So it's good that Acer has thought about that and they have added antimicrobial coating all over the laptop. Now we're not gonna talk about that. So if you wanna read about that, you can head over to the link down in the description below in the article that we have done. But what we're gonna talk about is the Intel Evo logo that you would find in the laptop. Now before that, what exactly is this Intel Evo? Before we even talk about Intel Evo, we need to go all the way back to Project Athena, which was announced last year by Intel. Now, Project Athena is an interesting series or an interesting project by Intel themselves, where their whole goal is to make laptops, those are thin and light, to offer uncompromised performance. Now, in the past, we have seen thin and light laptops and every single thin and light laptop has always had some hindrance in the performance department and which is what Intel decided to eliminate entirely ever since last year to this project. Now, in order to make this project successful or in order to get any laptop to be a part of this particular project, every single manufacturer that makes laptop has to fulfill three criteria. Number one, instant wake. Number two, responsiveness. Number three is the battery life. Now, starting off with the instant wake, the laptop must have the capacity to wake up instantaneously in just a second. Number two was responsiveness. Throughout the whole day, if you're using it in a light laptop, you wanna make sure that your performance is good from the get-go all the way till the end of the day. Now, which is why they wanted to make sure the responsiveness is great, especially with a processor that's gonna be paired up with. Number three is obviously the battery life. You don't wanna get a thin and light laptop and be like, I wanna to connect to the charger right away because my laptop is dying in the middle of the day. So which is why they wanted to make sure that these laptops have the best battery life one could ask for. And their goal was to offer nine hours of battery life on a full HD display. Now these are the three criteria, and once these three criteria are fulfilled, these laptops are automatically verified as Project Athena laptops. Now Project Athena doesn't end there because they need to work with PC manufacturers in order to get this particular project successful. So what they did, obviously they worked with the PC manufacturers out there, pretty much almost everybody and including Acer themselves. Now, in order for this certification to happen as of right now, it has to go through an optimization process with Intel themselves. So whatever parts that the brand or whatever parts that the PC manufacturer is gonna choose, they have to make sure that it's well optimized. And once that's done, it's gonna be put into a simulation where these particular simulation actually does real world test, basically putting the laptop to real world use case scenarios, like video calls, like doing your editing or your spreadsheets or your document, all those kind of stuff. And once that's done, then it's finally verified as a Project Athena laptop. Now this is a super long process, I admit that. And uh, once that process is done, the laptops are out and they are on for sale. Now when the Project Athena happened, they actually announced with the 10 generation processors. Now these 10 generation processors pretty much have the same silver sticker that's pasted on the body. And we have even reviewed here at the Adventures of Esper. So what was initially called a Project Athena is now called the Evo series of laptops. So this is how the whole Evo series happened. So if you find an Evo sticker on a laptop or say if you're going into a market 
And if you want these three particular criteria that I mentioned earlier, that is instant wake, responsiveness, and number three, battery life. Then you have to look out for the Intel Evo Base laptops, which is why today we have an Intel Evo Base laptop here in the house of the Adventures of Esper. So let's just try instant wake right away because the laptop is closed. I turned it off like uh, basically I put it in sleep. So let's just open it up and you can see that instant wake worked really well. That is how fast it is. And it did it exactly in a second. Once you're done, once you log in, it goes and sets up completely fine. And you pretty much get to pick up from where it left off. Let's just do it once more so that you guys can know that it's really the instant wake doing the magic. So in three, two, one, there you go. It's pretty, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, the Asus Web 5 is also a touch screen. So you can actually use your touch screen to interact with it. So instant wake is cool. Now, next up, what we decided to do is test the battery out and we don't have any simulation tools. So we decided to use the laptop as is as our daily driver. And the battery life was pretty much as what they claimed that it would offer. And we decided to do the PC mark battery test to show you guys in modern office what kind of battery performance that you're going to get because for the most part people who are going to opt in for this particular laptop are going to get it because it's a very productive t-centric laptop number three is obviously making sure that it gives the consistent performance through and through the day now in cinebench r20 we ran the test about three or four times just to make sure that we can see a consistent score with a little bit of arm of margin and to our surprise the score was pretty much the same throughout all the four tests coming in at 2060 for the multi-core performance and a 500 plus score for the single core performance so who exactly is this evo series laptops are for now say if you're in the market and you want a laptop that does the best of the best performance and it keeps up with you throughout the whole day acer swift 5 is a good option to go for now another thing that you really should remember is that the EVOS has gone through a lot more than that three criteria and we saw that it has to be certified for Wi-Fi 6 and all of the other stuff to actually keep up with today's standards and to make sure that it's one of the most future-proof laptops and in that case this laptop definitely gets that particular box checked as well. So if you really want to get the Acer Swift 5 and if you really want to get the Acer Swift 5 for its performance and if you are all about the productivity go for it the intel evo is definitely your answer to a laptop that focuses just on that and that's basically it huge thanks to acer malaysia for making this video possible if you really want to check out more on the 11 generation laptops there is an article linked down in the description below and once again if you really want to watch and learn about the iris x emax you can head over to the link down in the description below. So make sure to like us on our Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram because that's where we post all things tech related and we will catch you guys in the next video. Until then, this is Prithi Rai signing off. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.